Be sure to like the video and also make sure you hit that share button to show it to somebody else and feel free to subscribe and turn on all notifications. for Nanaka chans dancing! So much to look forward to at LMB! We're even told that Kanamine will be debuting a new song there! The theme of her new song, Calistegia, is said to be about bonds. We can only assume that the bond between Kanamine and the audience will grow even stronger through it. Calistegia. Those lyrics. Well, it seems we're out of time, so we'd better start wrapping this up. Was I just misremembering? Always on the run from showing how I felt. Where did I hear that part? To finish off, let's hear from Kanamine how excited she is for Love Meets Bonds. <sighs> uh, Kanamine? Hello? Huh? Right! I'm super excited! I'll, I'll do my best! And there we have it, everyone! Come out to the Love Meets Bonds Festival to see Kanamine perform live! That's a wrap! Well done, Konami-chan! Let's get going, guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks oh, for all the Thanks hard work. Thanks for all the hard work. Yeah, I think it went real well today. Really. I think it went well today, too. Thanks yeah, for all the hard work. You were the best. Good Absolutely job. Adorable. You both did well, especially with that dance. It really helped us that you kept your head during the interview, Konami-chan. I'm sorry you had to dodge the question about the other girls. I mean, it is what it is. But I won't be happy if you don't seriously look for them. I know. It's not like I'm not worried about them myself. Why don't we take a break until your lesson this afternoon? There's catered lunch in your dressing room, so eat something if you can. Are you okay, Big Sis? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry for spacing out so much. Wait, I always do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shape up once I eat lunch. Nanako-san, we just have to charge off to the dressing room. Uh-huh, we just have to charge off. food! Whoa! This is even fancier than usual! Ah, oh, am I being bribed here? <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's because Nanako-chan's here today, too. You can eat whatever you like. Can I have this one? It's like an inside-out Inari sushi! You know what it is even without seeing the inside of it? You must be quite the foodie, Nanako-chan. Uh-huh! I saw it on TV! Ah, uh, that makes sense. Well, of course you can have it. You're free to have all of these if you'd like. I'm okay with just this one. Thank you. <laughs> you sure? Here you go. You mentioned that before the interview today. Sure, what is it? I think I had part of the lyrics wrong. 
There's a line that goes, always by your side, whether rain or shine, right? Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Why? Did I give you the wrong lyrics? Oh, no, that's not it. It's just... I remember that part of the song differently. It went, never telling you how I really feel. Oh, those are the original lyrics. They've been changed since. The original? A lot happened after all. Huh? I'm surprised you knew those lyrics, though. Mizo Chimizu was the only one who'd know the old lyrics to that song. Mizo Chimizu? Mm-hmm. An idol named Yuko Osada with Takura Productions wrote that song before she passed away. It was shelved for quite some time, but Mizu Chimizu brought it back to use as Kanamin Kitchen's new song. Did she not tell you any of this, Konami-chan? I didn't know anything about that, though Yuko Osada. I've heard that name before. Um... Well, I wouldn't be surprised. She was a top idol at our agency at the time, but it seems she was quite upset over something. I don't know the reasons why the lyrics got changed, but there are rumors that Mizuchimizu may have been the one to change it. That's odd, though. I mean, Yuko-san's legendary piece was Ms. Ochimizu's selling point for the new song. I remember her saying she explained that to everyone in Kanamin Kitchen. I was the only one she didn't tell. Why? You know A speaking? Oh, coach. It's been a pleasure working with you. Yes, the agency told me earlier. Oh, of course, I'll come right away. Yes, I'll be there soon. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me. D did something happen? Things have been a bit of a mess with your dance coach. It seems Ms. Ochimizu didn't submit the invoice for the added dance lessons to accounting. Well, of course not. I mean, Ms. Ochimizu was... It's okay, don't worry about it. I'll go talk to him myself. Anyway, I'm going to cancel your afternoon lesson. You don't have any urgent work, so feel free to take the rest of the day off. I'm sorry I can't drive you home, though. Oh, okay. What does this mean? I just don't get it. Our new song. The lyrics to Calistegia were changed. Were the words I knew the ones that Yuko-san wrote? She wrote our new song. An idol who passed away. Ah! Uh, a dead idol! Sorry, did I worry you? Do you want me to go get someone? Should we go see a doctor? Don't worry, I'm just a bit tired. Let's eat our lunches, Naroko-san. Also, I'm going to try giving your dad a call. You're going to call dad? Okay. Yes, but first, let's dig into this food. I really need to contact Ojima-san. Could the dead idol in the rumor really be her? Dojima, what's the matter? Dojima-san, I figured it out about that dead idol. A few years ago, someone with Takara Productions passed away. And Kanamine Kitchen is going to be singing her song at the LMB Fest in a couple days. Mizo Chimizu never told me, so I didn't know until just now. Calm down, Mashita. You're certain about what you're telling me. Oh, um, yes. All right, let's meet up in an hour. I have some information, too. You do? It'd be better to meet somewhere unconnected to your work. Any suggestions? How about...
about my place? Uh, if you're okay with somewhere boring like that. What does matter if it's boring or not? That sounds fine. It's the address where Nanako stayed yesterday, right? I'll be there in an hour. Got it. It's not too far from here, so we should be arriving about the same time. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Jeez, that guy hangs up too fast. Dad's always like that. He only says things that he needs to. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure your dad didn't mean anything by it. But it's still a little blunt. Somewhere unconnected to my work, though. I wonder why he insisted on that. would have been better to serve some tea, especially since you took the time to buy cake. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Nanako, but I need you to wait over there for a bit. We have some important things to talk about. Okay. So, um, what's this information you mentioned? Don't be so hasty. Let's start off with what you were telling me. You figured out who this dead idol is, right? Well, I don't have any proof or anything, but I'm pretty sure. There used to be an idol at Takara Productions by the name of Yuko Osada. The song we're going to be singing at the festival is the last song she left behind. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but that song's lyrics were changed. And it might have been Mizu Chimizu who rewrote them. meets Bonfest, a dead idol, and that group of yours. This shows they're all connected. Yes. I found out a few things as well. I can corroborate that the dead idol in the rumor is Yuko Osada, just like you thought. My contact I mentioned before looked into the rumor and told me as much. I trust my source on this one. Oh, okay then. I guess I wasn't much help. Not necessarily. You gave me a second source on what my contact told me. I don't see any reason to doubt it now. There's more to it, too. Remember the man who assaulted you in the dressing room when we first met? That whole needing your blood to lift the curse thing was bogus. No version of the rumor says anything about that. It must have been an exaggeration that man came up with on his own after he saw the video and started to panic. So you don't need to worry about masses of people out for your blood. Oh, right. That's a relief. The other information I have is about Yuko Asada. I looked into this myself. Right before her death, witnesses saw her arguing with someone. This person had managed Osada since her debut and was her manager even at the time of the argument. They've been working hard together and this person was passionate about Osada's career. That's why the witness testified that it was rare to see them quarrel like that. Then, are you saying that Yuko-san was... No, they were thoroughly questioned and found innocent in the matter of Osada's death. So they didn't kill Osada, if that's what you were asking. Oh. But there's more to the story. After that, this person quit Takara Productions. It's hard to tell, but the agency might have made them the scapegoat. But even so, they stayed in the industry, working as a freelancer, which they still do to this day. It's someone you know quite well. Who, who is it? Wait, is it? Ochimizu. Right. Yuko Osada's manager at the time was Kyoka Ochimizu. Wait, 
What? What does that mean? Why is everything so connected? Calm down, Mashta. I, I know that's a hard thing to ask in these circumstances. I felt goosebumps from the moment you mentioned Ochimizu's name, too. Osada's suicide, a cursed video, your missing groupmates, the festival coming up. At first glance, they all seem unrelated. But Kyoka Ochimizu is the common thread linking them all. No! There's no bones about it. I'll need to look into this Ochimizu. <laughs> I just came out here to check up on those kids. And here I am, caught up in the middle of the showbiz world. I much prefer watching it on TV from home. Are you done talking? Yeah, I've said my piece. Sorry. I didn't mean to go on for so long. We'll be going now. Oh, it's all right. I'm just... I'm sorry about everything. Anyway, don't let this bother you too much. I'll contact you again if I find out more. Let's play together again later, big sis. Farewell. Oh, for sure. See you. Farewell. Farewell?